Here's a sweet reading from the book Girl Overboard, written by Justina, awesome writer. Unless I want to totally freeze in the snow outside, jeans it is, but downstairs in the mudroom, as I bend over to put on my clunky black shoes, I spot my gear hanging in my locker. Not the boy's jacket that mama detests, or my wide-legged androgynous snow boots, but the body-conscious, never-before-worn snow jacket and pants, hot pink and vibrant orange, that mama has specifically designed for me before my accident. And there, there waiting on the heated floor like a pair of faithful dogs are my old boots, a little scuffed, a lot worn, and infinitely more beautiful than any strappy heels. After all the gear is zipped and buckled, reluctantly I take a good, long look at myself in the mirror and surprised to see someone I like. These last couple of months, I've holed myself up, waging a cultural revolution of my own, attacking my four olds, old culture, old habits, old ideas, old family. Most of all, I've been purging old me. Welcome back, I tell my reflection. Sarah, are you ready? Calls mama from down the hall. Did you find? And then she walks into the mudroom and does a double take. You look beautiful in that color. Thanks for packing this, I tell her, meaning it. And I throw my arms around mama, who doesn't feel nearly as breakable in her fur coat. You don't know how much I appreciate it. When I strut out to the garage, I do feel beautiful. Maybe mama and Grace have a point about power clothes. All I know is, put a parka on this girl and she might as well wear a sign, traffic cone orange, so that everyone stops to look. Danger, girl in Gore-Tex ahead. <laughs>